YouTube, this is Andrea here, and I'm so glad you're here with me. We are doing a BB Craft review and demo of some dyes I bought from them. That's bbcraft.com. Check them out. Let's get started on our demo and review. I got, this is called the five set cutting dies and they're for scrapbooking and mini album and photo album making all that wonderful stuff we have square rectangle um, square rectangle and hexagon just to name a few and uh, then these two here which are more like frames I think they're like frames uh, this set was seventeen dollars and eighty four cents and it's called Benny Crete five sets cutting dies so check that out let's get started I want to start with this one because it has the biggest frame die in here oh. I can get it open saw me saw me okay Now these are um, the thin dies or, that you uh, get in the pack. This one has one, two, three, four, five, six dies. Let's see how, <clears throat> how easy they are to break from each other. I don't want to bend them. There. So they just turn out. So you just turn it inward. Let's do it again. And then just turn it like so. And they come right out. That's nice to know. I thought that we I was going to break it, but they're not little weakling dies, so that's good. Here we go. Okay, cute little tiny one. That makes great like for a little name tag. That would be cute. I want to do this one. I have a piece of scrap paper. Let's see if it's wide enough. If that one is not wide enough, I do have this one, and that one is not wide enough. So we'll put this one down. With some washi tape to help hold it down. Take it all the way to the edge. On the left and the bottom. My plate here. My other plate. Get to move it. Let's cut it out, see how it works. The dogs don't like the noise of the uh, Jim and I. Pull that off. 
And there is our frame. Oh, I love it. This is perfect for putting a photo in. Let's see what the size is. It is three by four and a half, three by five. So a three by five photo will fit in there. Nice. So that's this frame. What we got here. Let's try this one. Again, you're going to twist them, and they should come right out. Ooh. <coughs> Excuse me. That. that one. I'm going to get my little pliers for that piece. It doesn't need to stay on there. There. All right. We'll put the little ones to the side. And we will put our black paper down and try this one. Put it all the way to the edge. Get our plate on there. Try it again. We're going to puppies. <laughs> I think they finally figured out it's me, not some monster out there. <laughs> okay. And voila, it's embossed and cut. Very nice. See the edging here? Embossed all the way around. Very, very nice. Okay, so that was this one. Let's try the hexagon. This one has stitching on it, so I want to see if that embosses onto the paper. It should, so we will find out. Okay. If you don't have dies and this is your first time taking a look at them getting cut uh, and used, this is a great set to pick up because it's like a starter set. It gives you lots of frames to work with for photos. Looks like it's stitched in, which is what I like. Okay. 
Uh -oh. This is the die we used with the stitching here. And this is how it cut. See, so stitching all the way around. It's beautiful. All right. And then this one to me is like a photo frame as well. I love the curves on it. It's got the stub corners. This is what we're going to cut. It also has stitching. I think I could fit it right in here. with the stitching and the embossing very nice this one let's see I didn't do the other one but this one will fit a four and a quarter by a two and three quarters photo four and a quarter by two and three quarters so that's nice and our last set These are oval, or not oval, um, <laughs> kind of rectangle with rounded corners. Those little doohickeys. I think I can fit this one here. Yay! Okay. Get that down. Get her in the machine. Sometimes that popping gets to me too. I'm like, ah, what is that? Because it sounds like something broke. <laughs> Alright. Okay. And you can keep these and make them into 
little photo pictures. Put your picture underneath. I think that's a good idea as well. No waste. Okay. And that's how that one turned out. The stitching and the embossing. Very nice. Very good cutting guys. I, th I think. Let me just clean up my mess here. And I'd like to take the ones that we cut. I'm going to throw these little plastic things away. put our dies in our drawer so they are easily accessible take these and we're going to decorate them with some of the stamps that we got so if you'd like to check that out check out our next video and we'll be working on that see you in a moment bye